So Caleb, dude, yes. a lot of times people sit in this seat, they're sitting courtside, we do this like little interview in between. I think a lot of times people don't even know basketball, they just occupy the seat to get the seats. The seat, yeah. But you seem to know basketball, you got a Knicks jacket on oh, here. Yes. I yes. think you played an NBA All-Star game, the mm -hmm. celebrity game. Yes. Basketball, how deep are you in it, one to 10? One to 10, I would probably say a good six and a half. That's a really fair judgment, yeah. why six and a half? Because I wouldn't say I know enough because I, that I watch it every day and I know every single team. Mm -hmm. uh, I know every single team, but not the uh, players. Not every single player, but I know yeah. I can keep up with it. I can conversate with you about it. Know who's That's good and who isn't, and who's in the uh, who can make it to the Western Conference Finals or the Eastern Conference Finals. I think it's higher than either you're higher than a six and a half, or I'm like a five then, because um yeah I'm I know the Knicks and that's about it. Oh okay. Yeah okay. yeah yeah. So look, I know what you're here. I'm gonna just ask you. Stranger Things. Yes. Any spoilers? Anything you can give us that we don't already know? Okay. Well, have you been doing your research? I'm higher than a six and a half on Stranger Things. I'm like a, I'm like an eight. Nine, okay. You know? Well, yeah. then for the people that don't know, well, it's, uh, season three is taking place in the summer of 1985. Okay. And well, there's a mall, a Star Court mall. Um, there's ice cream. Uh, there's a pool. We're wearing shorts, showing our hairy legs, our yeah. nice, sexy legs. Yeah, uh, these are all it's, valid. It's, yeah, it's definitely. And there's a new threat. Um, trying to give away as much as I can, so so that we can have a moment, yeah, but not a so moment, not too much of a moment. A yeah, call, yeah, I won't get a phone call, but yeah. Well, let me ask you, what's it like growing up on this show? Because I think when I first saw it, it felt like the first season was so perfect, and you guys were really, like, appearingly really young kids. Yes. Now you're all, like, getting to your late teens, you know? Yeah. What's it like developing on this show, both as a cast member and then the actual character? I've always dreamt of growing up on a show, so That's it's fire. definitely spectacular. Yeah. Um, it's great to have kids around you, uh, Growing up, having the same issues, especially being and uh, being famous child actors, one day we weren't and now we are. So yeah. it's just kind of fun to go through it with them. I'm wondering, what's it like getting to that period where you know you start as a child actor, everyone's like, oh, it's Caleb, he's cute, great Stranger Things. Yeah, no. And then you're transitioning to that point now where you're like, yo, I'm an actor. I'm not like necessarily with like mm -hmm. the little dudes anymore. Oh yeah. Um, you know, I think I'm I'm getting out of that now. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't see me as little Caleb anymore. They look. Oh my God! You got hair on your face. What? But, yeah, I'm <laughs> I still 17. don't get that. So <laughs> yeah, we're in the same bucket. Yeah. Yeah, but you know the transition is is going pretty well. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's just starting. Yeah. The new Caleb, I guess. You know? The new Caleb. Yeah. Okay. Can you replay last year's All Star game and tell me the do's and don'ts of All Star? What you got right and what you feel like maybe if you had a chance to do it again. All Star. Mean when I played. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Just go out there and play. Don't pass the ball because no one passes the ball. I'm, I'm actually, I, when I go out there, I'm like, hey, th we're trying to win a championship. Yeah. Let's pass the ball. Let's let's make some good plays. Everyone's like, all right, I pass the ball to them. They're like, oh, I'm going to go for it. No, yeah. pass the ball. Let's let's make some movement. But no, next time I'm just going to go for it. I'm ball hogging. I'm Kobe. Yeah. Who do you model your game after? I try. You don't have to be honest here. You um, can just go for oh, the go like. Oh, go for it. No, yeah. I know. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I try, to, I try Kyrie Irving. I try. Because, wow. like, my handles, is what that helps me a lot. Yeah. But I wasn't using them, so I just now I need to use them. Yeah. Use them to at my advantage and get to the rim. But, yeah, I try to model Kyrie Irving. So we want to ask you about your new film. Um, I want to get this right. High Flying Bird? Yes. Okay, cool. I didn't want to add, like, an S on okay. it. Okay. High Flying Birds. <laughs> Um, it's a basketball film. Yes, right? yes. Uh -huh. Can you tell me about it? Because I don't really know that much. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, it's a. Well, I have a pretty small part in it. Uh, it was. It was just for like an experience. It was cool. Um, I filmed that for two days. It's just like a coming of age kind of movie. I play a, a, a basketball player, and uh, that's just trying to make it. You know, just like a kid, any kid, like he wants to be in the NBA, right? Yeah. Um, and it's taking place in New York. You know, sometimes you guys get stunt doubles. Like, is your mm -hmm. character nice, or is it all you? you know? Oh well, like, you know, I, you know what it does sometimes. I film. I filmed a lot of me just playing basketball, so I don't know how much they're gonna show. 
yeah. but everything is me. So we know you got that coming up. You got Stranger Things. I want you to think in the future and think, you have a long career ahead of you. Thank you. What's the project that isn't here yet that you really want? I know what it is. Yeah, I know. I know. If it's... You know what it is? You know what it is? I have a lot of people that I know that wants that role as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm just going to just say, sorry, guys. It's mine. All love. <laughs> There's always that mix of like, do you, is it? I'm gonna just show you the sneaker. You mind if I put my? Oh, okay. Yeah, just, yeah. you know. What, where, what is, where is this from? So these are the Spider-Man edition Air Jordan 1s that were on the feet of Miles Morales. Yes. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Fair enough, yes. I get it. I'm a New Yorker, I got, hey, like, I'm a New yeah. Yorker. I know the way of life in New York. And you're yeah. living it. I mean, I'm you living have it literally it, on your feet. Yes. You didn't even know you were gonna do this interview. I was gonna ask I, you I didn't know. All right, you gotta live it to be it, so yes. yeah. I dig that. Our franchise question before we let you go. All right. So you're sitting courtside. Yeah. The important part of courtside is actually really wearing good sneakers. Like that's, oh, that's, all right. I was, tell I was yeah. telling him that. It is, it's a big deal. Yeah. But um, the do's and don'ts of courtside, courtside etiquette. What is a do of courtside and what is a definite don't of courtside? Definite don't, you can't not have your hair cut. Hmm. Well, I mean, if you do, if you don't, it's because you you, you better be uh, doing a film where your hair is not, your hairline is not well. Yeah. <laughs> and I have that excuse, but you better have a haircut. Yeah. Um, don't matter if you smell good, because no one can smell you on the screen. Those are the do's and don'ts of courtside, Caleb. Man, we're gonna let yes. you go. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Appreciate you. Appreciate man. it. Boom. Thank you.